show you how to take pictures of water drops and have little objects floating around in them. Uh, this is something I wondered how to do for quite a while. I had seen some pictures online and wondered how they did it. Finally found out, and now I'm going to show you. So I have my Canon Rebel T3i and my tripod, and I'm just using natural light here. I'm in my photo studio, which is actually my garage. I have the garage door open, so I have natural light flowing in here, and the window over here. So it's all natural light. It's not real bright in here, but it's it's fine for this. Um, also, I'm going to be using some other lights uh, because I'm doing this on a budget. Um, I don't have a flash that I'm using. I'm using some flashlights to try to throw some different kind of light on the the water drops to see how that works. So the first thing I did is I got my table set up and I have these two plastic containers that lift up a piece of glass and the glass is sitting on the containers and I have a, a piece of white matte board underneath the glass and on that is going to be my objects that I'm going to be photographing. I have some colorful little objects like this is just a cat's toy. It has some pretty colors in it. So we're going to see what that looks like. I have a card there, which I found out you can do, like, if you have a happy birthday message or a happy Easter or whatever on it, you can actually reflect the, the text through the bubbles, and that's kind of neat. And then I have a couple of uh, artificial flowers that are orange, and see what that looks like. And then I have a whole book full of different patterns and colors that I'm going to test out. So, uh, again, Rebel T3i. The reason I love this camera in particular is because of this swivel LCD screen. Now, that's kind of special, yeah, but even more special is the ability to focus manually with this screen. And that, that happens in live view. There's a little button on the back of the camera that you press to go into live view. And then there's another little button here that will zoom in five times or ten times. And the reason that's special to me is because I have difficulty focusing manually. I always have. And usually when I think it's in focus, I take the picture of my eyes not too great and I get fuzzy pictures. So this one with the 5 to 10x zoom, you can actually focus pinpoint sharpness with this. Now another thing I recommend is either put your camera on a timer, put it on the timer. so you're not pressing the shutter button and causing the camera to shake. Or I had this remote um, shutter button switch, which is kind of neat. This only costs about, I don't know, $12. So again, I'm on a budget, so here we go. Uh, first thing I did was I treated the glass with some rain -X, which you can buy at any hardware store. You don't have to do that, but it helps for the drops to beat up, get some nice well-defined drops. And then I spritzed it with some water so that the drops are on top of the glass. And then I have to put my object underneath. And I'm using a macro lens here. Uh, this is a Sigma 105. I'm going to show you in a few minutes how you can do this without a macro lens. And it will only cost you an additional... I, I, che I checked online for this object today. It's only 10 to $12 on Amazon. So. I'll show you that in a few minutes. Okay, first thing I want to do now is turn on live view. And now I can see the objects in my LCD screen. And I'm going to manually focus, but before I do that, I'm going to press the little button that will zoom in 5x. And now I can see in the middle of my drops my little object. And it's perfectly positioned. I don't have to move it at all. But if you have to move it, just, you know, you can feel free to move it around a little bit. So I'm all focused, ready to go. I have my f-stop at f20 because I want a lot of detail in this. So here I go. Take the picture. And there it is. Now, I want to try adding a little light. So I have my super duper anti-intruder flashlight. And I'm just going to turn this on and I'm going to play around with positioning and using the light. Now I can look in the live view and see what's happening in the picture. And I, when I like what I see, <clears throat> I can just snap it. 
Now I'm going to move this down underneath and shine it up. My live view went off, so I have to turn it back on. You can set that timer in your settings to go off at a, a certain time so you don't run your battery down. So I'm shining it on the little toy right now, and I like that. And that turned out pretty cool. Now I have another thing here, which is going to reflect the light back to the object. I'm going to go around in front and I have another flashlight to add some more dimension to what we're doing here. So Now it looks pretty harsh when I'm looking at it, but I'm going to take the picture and you'll see hopefully that that one came out pretty cool because it's a lot more contrast to the object. All right, now I'm going to take these little toy out of there, and I'm going to try the card. It says happy birthday because it's your big day, and we'll see how that looks. Oops, well, I'm not sure what happened, but the camera quit recording there, so um, I'm just going to show you a couple of other pictures that I did take. Uh, the first one is the one with the flowers. You can see the flowers in the water drop and uh, I just used one flower so that that's what's reflecting in the water drop and then I took some holly from my bush outside and I put that in the picture that turned out pretty nice and then uh, I took another card this one was a Charlie Brown Christmas and you can see the Charlie Brown characters in the drop so that, well, that turned out pretty cool too. So now I'm going to continue with the, the part about the water drop photography without a macro lens. Okay, so now I want to show you another way to do this, and it involves using something called extension tubes. These are little um, round cylinders that attach to your camera body in between the body and the lens that you're using. This allows you to make any lens a macro lens. So I've got my Canon 85 millimeter f1.8 lens on here. And by the way, you can use a Canon 50 millimeter 1.8 lens, which you can pick up for around $100. And that is the best deal on the planet. And use these extension tubes and get really close to these water drops or any other macro object that you want to take, a flower, a bug. Uh, you can use them in tangents with each other. In other words, you can use more than one extension tube on the lens. I happen to have the 36 millimeter, which is the largest one uh, that I have. I will have a link to these extension tubes uh, under this video on my website. So if you happen to be looking on, on YouTube, you need to go to my website to see where to get these things. They are very inexpensive and they will turn a, any lens that you have into a macro lens. So I have the extension tube on here. The one thing that's different about this between this and a macro lens is that the focus on the lens now is very limited. So you may have to raise or lower your camera rather than using the focus ring. So um, I have a picture of a butterfly under here and I'm going to use my live view. And then I'm going to see if I can focus on the butterfly. And I'm going again to use my nifty little 5x zoom tool. And then I see that I cannot focus at this distance, so I have to lower my camera just a tad. And now I'm seeing the butterfly in the bubble. So I can move over and focus directly on that butterfly and go into 10x where I can really fine tune the focus like that and snap the picture and there you have it um, again you can use lights to brighten up the subject and I like that that's pretty cool 
then you can go down below and do some even cooler things. So I have, now I'm, sh I'm shining it on the butterfly, and there is the result. So play around with the lights. Again, I don't have anything expensive here. These are flashlights that I had around the house anyway. Um, the water bottle. The only thing that I paid for here, aside from my camera, is the extension tube. So I hope this helps you out. If you like it, uh, come back and see some more.